Okay, I'm going to um, mix some resin and um, this is silicone caulk that I've put down on a piece of plastic, shiny plastic, and zoom out just a little bit more. I've got two little shapes down here. I'm going to add whatever leftover resin I have. I don't really know how much resin I need, so I'm hoping this will be enough, but I'm going to mix it for about four minutes and then switch it to another cup, mix it four more minutes, and then add my pigment powders and things to it. And um, I'll probably just add the text in the video of what I'm doing because I'll have a respirator and safety goggles, gloves, everything that you need to uh, work with resin safely. So I'm going to be putting my gloves on and I'm using Promarine A and B equal parts. I like it because it actually sets up a bit quicker and I want to maybe form this a little bit and make it kind of a free form style maybe. <laughs> this is just experimental. So We'll see how this goes. And I'm going to try to do a little bit of a flowery kind of look on these, uh, these two here. Kind of like, they're kind of like large coasters, kind of. And I'm just going to experiment with them if I have leftover resin that I can put into here. So I'm going to get my timer set up. Put my safety glasses on. And my respirator, even if the company says their product is non-toxic, I just like to be extra safe. It doesn't hurt.
Okay, I'm gonna leave the coaster part overnight. Um, it's been four hours and Pro Marine resin sets up pretty quickly. I mean, it's flexible, but um, I want to kind of shape this. I did have some leakage because it went over my uh, silicone that I had squeezed out. So I just removed that. But I want to shape this and make it more free form. So I guess I'm going to put gloves on just so that I don't get fingerprints on it. But it's where the glass is I'm touching. It's not even real tacky, but it's flexible. And that's what I want. But I'm also not sure what shape I want to do this, so this is going to be interesting. I've never done this on a plastic before. Okay. <laughs> every, every experience is a new experience. Um, so on the back side it does have as you can see it's got kind of the shape of the plastic because it wasn't like totally flat um, so that's okay because it's the back side of the piece anyway and I think I do want to cut away a little bit of this edge where it's sticking out in pieces here and there, but I do want it kind of random because there's glass on the edges and it's not supposed to be straight edges. So I'm just cutting off little bits and pieces just to make it more random where it overflowed the, uh, the dam. So even where it's a little straight, I'm just trying to make it have a little jagged edge here or there. Y'all, oh, this is so cool. I don't know what I want to do with it, but I want to twist it somehow. You can heat it to make it flexible. Okay, so I'm getting a mess on my fingers here. So I better not touch that anymore. So what I'm going to do is heat this for a minute. So I wanna, I'm trying to curl it in a little bit, I think. But if you, if you do too much of this, I've learned the last time, it will crack. So I'm going to heat it a little bit more. playing around with the white trying to figure out a way to but I like I like this side so I'm gonna leave it I'll leave the other one and I just was freestyling those just to kind of see how they turn out I'm pretty pleased I like them because they're funky okay so this is gonna sit overnight and harden rock hard and I will be checking it tomorrow and I'll show you what it looks like Stay tuned. Okay. Here are the two coasters. They uh, have the fire opal confetti in the middle and just uh, yellow. The back sides aren't as pretty. I like the front better. Uh, and then they 
you know, these were freeform that I made the mold for and they were on plastic. So there's a little crinkle on the underside and these are smooth on top. So definitely use them that way. But they're, they're larger. They're, I don't know, five or six inches around. But just wanted to try out a freeform style. So that turned out pretty cool. We got the, the crushed glass on the edges. And here is the freeform um, piece uh, uh, right under five inches and um, it's about 19, I think about 19 inches long. So it uh, turned out pretty cool. And you just stand it up rigid and so it can be seen under the TV. I'll show a picture of it at a different angle. So there's that. And then you can kind of see through parts of it. It's got the kind of crinkled look on the back of it too. But you see the, um, the crushed glass on the edges. The, amber crushed glass and the uh, confetti and a little bit of the orangey color underneath. I didn't I didn't mix it strong enough so it kind of softly blended in with the the yellow colors and I did put a little bit of a white pearly look in there as well. So I'll show pictures later. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel. Check out all the links below the video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.